So here I am in Unity and I have this room. It's a really lame looking room. And I got this room and it's to scale. Okay, so there we go. And I also have a texture that goes along with that. It kind of doesn't fit within the scene, but it's all right. We're going to make shift do here. Um, one thing that you have to know that Unity has is called collider meshes. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over that. In my room, a collider mesh makes it so I don't go through the floor. So in here, before I put it out there, I must make collider meshes. Okay. And then I can click and drag the room out. And now I have one with collider meshes. So if I go jumping into this thing, uh, it'll work. Hopefully I can jump that high. Okay, now also I have this texture that I kind of build onto it. There we go. And I know it's really ugly, but it's a demonstration upon scale. So let's quickly play the game and find out what our one room schoolhouse looks like. Big bricks, ugly wallpaper, and the tiles almost make sense. Almost. So that is, that's the difference in scale. And if it's, if you don't understand it all the way across upon UVs, you're going to get something that looks like this. And then you're going to have to go back and like make really fine adjustments back in Photoshop land. Like now the brick, let's take the brick for example, the brick, I would probably have to tone that down some. Okay. So I could fix it here. Okay. That's one way to do it. Or another way to do it is go to Maya and assign a new material like Lambert then take my color and assign it the wall and here I go so I can adjust it there in Photoshop by just kind of tweaking it around or I can do it real time in here by going into the UV hypergraph Oh, UV texture editor, and I can make some adjustments here also. Now I'm very limited to the adjustments I can do here, however, because I really want this to be all on one object. So see if I make some adjustments here, I'm going to go outside my texture bounds and that's what's going to happen right there. See it? It's going to start tiling on me. So I can make the bricks bigger. That's not a problem, but what I need to do is make them smaller. So that's a Photoshop thing. And the other one's um, more of a Maya thing if I wanted to make them bigger. So that's a Photoshop thing. That means I'm going to have to sit here and try to judge how big bricks are. And if I use that exercise before, I could probably bring in one brick the brick I know to be a brick size and I can correspond everything off that one brick. That's one way to do it. So I'm going to show you several ways to do it, I think. Again, I'm holding Option, Option or Alt down on a Mac to make, quickly make duplicates of this. And when I hit File Save, back in Unity Land, it should update. And there we go. Brick is probably a little bit better now. It's still a little tall but uh, it definitely looks a little bit better. Wallpaper, lots to be desired there. And not only that, but look how pixelated it is. Now, what happens every time I bring it into Unity, 
if I go to wall and find out something about this texture, it came in as 1024. Okay, so it already came in as its bigger, uh, as its biggest max texture size. So it's only when you're dealing with assets in game that somebody else built that it might come in at 256. Other than that, uh, you should have no problem tweaking it around here. All right, now. Uh, we're going to take a different look at texturing, a different way of thinking, I would say, in the next several videos. Uh, this is just an example of scale. Now let's go on to something else.